stuff in nature is pretty rare. That's why we don't see a lot of blue animals and blue minerals. But when we do, humans really prize these things. There's an Arabic term, something like Laza word, that refers to a heavenly blue color. And there's a German word, Lazarstein, that literally refers to blue stones. And what both of those are referencing is the subject of today, and that is our mineral lazulite. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, continuing my series on minerals today. We are looking at another awesome blue mineral, this time lazulite. Now lazulite is also one of my favorites, but it's hard to decide amongst the blue minerals because let's face it, blue minerals are super cool. Now, lazulite is a basic phosphate of magnesium, iron, and aluminum. Its color, as I've already mentioned, is usually kind of a deep blue, sometimes maybe a dull greenish blue, depending on the form that you find. The streak is white. And that's actually going to be a helpful distinguisher from other blue minerals. The luster can be anywhere from a vitreous glassy luster on some nicely formed crystals to more of a dull earthy kind of look to it. Lazulite crystals are described as monoclinic. They are typically a bipyramidal shape, sometimes tabular, or they can come in granular compact forms. The hardness of lazulite is around a 5.5 to a 6, so it will be softer than quartz around a 7, and it is certainly harder than, say, calcite, which is closer to a 3. Now the best field features if you're trying to identify a blue mineral and you think it's lazulite would be obviously the bluish color and look for the environment of formation. Some of the other blue minerals say like azurite don't form in the same type of environment so that could be a clue and if you can identify the crystals then you'll look for that bipyramidal shape and that will also help you distinguish it from something like say azurite. Speaking of similar minerals, some other minerals that could be confused with lazulite include Vesuvianite, but that's harder than lazulite. And another one which is often confused is lazurite. Yeah, that's right. There's actually a mineral called lazurite and one called lazulite. I'm going to go in detail about the difference between the two in another video soon. But just as a hint, lazurite occurs in marble environments, and that is technically an aluminum silicate, not a phosphate. So there are some key differences, but they can be a little challenging to identify in the field. Another one that can be confused with lazulite is dumortiorite, which actually forms in a similar environment, but it often has more of a fibrous form, and it is an aluminum borosilicate. Now, what are those formation environments? Well, one can be an igneous plutonic environment, the other metamorphic. Now, regional metamorphic uh, environments associated with quartz and muscovite in schist is common, as well as massive hydrothermal replacement deposits where you'll find lazulite associated with other minerals such as quartz, muscovite, hematite, or even topaz. Some key localities that lazulite has been found include in the United States, Georgia, as well as California at a region where the Champion Company mined materials for the development of spark plugs. And so it's found in close association with some other cool minerals like rutile, which I recently did if you're interested in checking out rutile, which has some beautiful crystals. Just check out that mineral video in the series. So there you have it, lazulite, not lazurite, not to be confused with some of the other cool blue minerals. Here today I've talked about lazulite. If you want to check out other blue minerals, which I love, just check out the minerals playlist and you can see some of the other ones I mentioned here today. And if you want to go on some geology adventures in the field with me, just subscribe here to Let's Go Geo. I'll see you guys next time.